Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here and welcome back to another Ace video. Today we're going to talk about my account. I'm at 60 days or just a little bit over. As you can see, I'm at 62 of 70 days right now. And uh, we're going to talk about where I am, what the status is, and just give you a tour of my account. But first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. Just a quick reminder, all the links to my social media are in the description below, so definitely check that out. Join us on Discord, where we're talking about the game, sharing tips, tricks, and strategies, and just having a good time talking about a game that we love to play. So let's take a look at my account. So if you haven't seen my previous account tours um, or where I left off a few, well, a month ago, I'll go ahead and put a link up over here so you can go ahead and take a look at it and kind of compare. But I was doing a weekly free-to-play account tour, so you can see what the progress of my account is. Playing fairly seriously, maybe not as much as some, but definitely more than probably most. And uh, also, there's been some changes with the account. Originally, this was a free-to-play account. Once it went global, I did flip it. This is now a pay-to-play account, so I'll talk about a few things that I spent some money on um, and show you where I am as far as the progression of this account and what I've mainly been focused on over the last several weeks. So right now, as you can see, I'm level 56. When we go to events, one thing I have been able to um, really kind of take a look at is free to play. I have been able to complete most of the events, probably 90% of the events. There's probably a couple um, that I haven't been able to complete free to play. Um, and all these events, I will try and I, I will try and run free to play. But I've been pretty good here. Um, I just need to finish up this last one as far as spending energy. And um, I'm doing pretty well with that. So I'm doing all right there. If we take a look at, uh, again, I am level 56 right now. Magic Pass, I did purchase Magic Pass. So if you're gonna spend this spend on this game, first of all, if you're a whale, you're gonna spend on whatever you want. If you're a little bit um, cautious about what you spend, I feel the Magic Pass is definitely worth it. I did purchase the, um, there's two versions of it. There's the the, uh, the $10 and the $20. I did purchase the $20 to get the additional rewards there and the additional levels. They gave you plus 20 additional levels. Just makes it easier to complete this. But you can definitely complete the Magic Pass 100% free to play without spending money or just spend the 10 bucks and get through all 50 levels of it. Um, again, if we take a look at the Magic Pass, where you get your points from, is right here so energy cost you're going to get plus two experience there arena is where you get a lot of your experience you can actually make quite a bit of progress um, on the magic pass through that so that's where i am with my magic pass if we take a look at my adventure currently i am on 8-8 -8 of, of of mythic so i've not completed this but my focus really hasn't been here and the reason why is because i can max glyph every single hero that i have without fully completing Mythic. And I think that's important to know because um, some of the, there's some frustration as far as Mythic and how far you can get and what you really need to do on Mythic in order to, to advance in this game. I do like the fact that you do not have to master Mythic. Now, there may be some heroes that I don't have that require me to be further in Mythic. I've not run across that yet. Every single hero that I've maxed on Glyphs, I've been able to do prior to having 8-3. Now, as you go further in, obviously, um, you have harder levels that you can still collect glyphs on that you can also collect earlier in Mythic. Uh, but the drop rates, I feel, are probably the biggest thing that you're going to see. As you get further in Mythic, your drop rates are going to increase on your legendary, specifically your legendary glyphs. So you're probably going to get more of those faster. Um, and I'll know more kind of once I get a little further into it. But that's where I am as far as my adventure goes. Um, if I go into Dungeons, my Bounty Hunt, I think I showed this last time, I am maxed on my Dispatch level, so that's all good. Um, I only now do, oh, I can go ahead and do this maybe, 94, I'll try 94%. I only now do Epic and Legendary Dispatches, so these things here, I'll go ahead and abandon. I could spend some Dispatch Gold on it to refresh it, I'm not going to, 30 minutes isn't a long time to wait, but I am only doing these. However, if I start running out on uh, requirements to finish these, then I'll hurry up. Um, I'll do some refreshes so I can make sure that I get these taken care of so I can get these summoning crystals. So uh, that is where I am with Dispatch Void Tower. I've been able to complete Common. Uh, I have not been able to complete Hard. So I do need to complete uh, uh, Common this time around before it ends. 
Uh, Arcane Dominator, as you can see, I have been able to complete Queen of Tides 12. I also just recently put together a Queen of Tides video uh, focused on my free-to-play team. If you haven't seen that, I'll go ahead and link it up over here as well. But I've been able to complete that, and then I'm working on my other ones. Right now, really focus on Queen of Tides because I like the, um, I like the gear that's there. I'll, I'll work on finishing Tulpa next. Then probably Ash, Gemini, and Witch of Winds really doesn't have a whole lot that I'm very interested in. So I'm kind of going slow on that. But Gemini is very difficult, but having some fun there. As far as where I am with my No Man's Land, I've been able to max everything that I currently really focus on. My Light and Dark, I don't really have a lot of, of Dark Heroes that I use, so I haven't really done anything there. Um, and as far as my Light Heroes, I really don't have much there either, but I have got to um, Stage 8. I've maxed out these three, as you can see. These three are going to be the most... Um, prevalent heroes that you use in the game so that's kind of where I've been focused as far as dungeon uh, endless trial I'm still I'm still on 50 not necessarily that I'm stuck there my focus again really has been on farming I've spent so much time on Queen of Tides here really focus on getting that team put together and I just want to re uh, reliably be able to run this so I can get the gear that I'm really working on um, and then move on to my next dungeon. But that's where a lot of my focus has been is specifically that. All right, so that's where I am with the different areas. Arena, I play here and there. Not a major focus here as well. Um, I make sure to go through and do my training so I can get my gems. I think that's the most important part there. As you can see, as far as glory path goes, I've been able to get quite a ways, but I have dropped because, again, I don't focus a ton on Arena. I'll focus more on that a little bit later. Most of my focus, again, is on PvE content. Um, as far as my index goes, I have 131 of 156 unlocked. I did unlock the new hero, um, which is pretty cool. I've been playing with, what is it, Abuki, Aboki, Abaki? <laughs> what is the dude's name? Oh, let's go ahead and take a look. Where is he? Where is he? Did I pass him? There he is, right there. I'm playing around with him a little bit right now. Um, I am going to put a video on him specifically. A little underwhelmed on him, but I do need to max him out. I do need to max his his abilities out in his glyphs and really kind of take a look at what he has to offer. Now, if we take a look at my roster, let's go ahead and do it by rarity. I'll show you what I have. Um, I, I did purchase some stuff in this game, so I did get some additional legendaries, but I'll show you where I am right now. So here we are. Um, Hector's up to an Ascension 1. I did get Bran from the Magic Pass. Um, I did get uh, Yolanda as well. Haven't really done anything with her just yet. Uh, so she's probably the newest. Her and Brand are the two newest on my legendaries. As far as my epics go, you can see where I am with that. Uh, it was really cool to get Nath, so focusing on her, she's not maxed out yet either. Um, I did get uh, an Ascension on Winstrix, which is good. And that's kind of where I am with my epics. All these ones down here are ones that I'm really not focused on right now. All right. So that's where we are with that. If we take a look at things that I did purchase, I'm going to go into the shop really quick. Um, we take a look at the limited shop, uh, not limited shop, recommended. I bought everything here except for these premium packs here. And then as, uh, farther, as far as the recommended, I am going to purchase the gold card, but I'm just going to wait to the first of the month and then I'm going to do it then. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm, I'm waiting on it. I just am. Um, so that's where I am with that. So I did purchase um, all the all the new stuff. I thought it was a decent value to purchase all of those, except for except for um, these premium packs, because it was what it was. I think overall, including the magic pass, it was probably eighty bucks or less, and you got a fair amount of stone uh, summoning stones. You got a fair amount of gems. Uh, you got some legendaries. Uh, some some. Um, guaranteed legendaries which i think is good because i think one of them had this here but it was a legendary specific not epic and legendary so i thought they were good values so i went ahead and i purchased all of that and that's really all all that i purchased and now that i've started to pay for stuff kind of really what i'm looking for packs that i'm looking for are pumpkin packs um so i can go ahead and star star up and ascend my my um my different units here so pumpkin packs and also this thing here, which I can't freaking find anywhere. Uh, where is it? Let me show you. Boom, boom, boom. This thing here. So this this Hierarchy Soul Arcana. This one's a legendary specific one. I need more epic ones because I have more epic heroes that I need to ascend than legendaries that I really want to. Like Hakrin, I need to get him up to Ascension 2 to improve my Queen of Tides team. Uh, but there, these aren't these aren't av readily available. I and, and the only pack that I've seen that you can purchase is a legendary one 
And it's, uh, it's somewhere around here. Not the diamond shop. Anyway, it's somewhere around here. And um, I really would like to be able to purchase some epic ones. All right, so there we are with that. I've showed you the index, the quests. Uh, you see my quest, I was on 72 days. I complete my dailies and my weeklies every single day. Um, the altar, when we go to synthesize here, uh, really nothing to show here, I guess. <laughs> uh, guild, my guild is, is level four, which is absolutely fantastic. We're doing a great job there. And then I think, I think that's it. Um, as far as my covenant, I'm still working on Ciara. Not really a huge focus for me because I do have her at Ascension 1 anyway. Uh, but I'll work on, on continuing to do those. Look at that. I'm almost done with this uh, own four water heroes at max level. Uh, but I will continue to work on that as well. And uh, I think, let me go in here, just double check, see if there's anything really. Foodie's Guide. Let's take a look at Foodie's Guide right now. Stuck on this one, having some, some difficulty getting to tier 20 for stage two for my guild boss. So I am uh, working on that, but I am on 18. And then if we take a look at this one here, Hero Development 24 of 33. I don't focus on these too often. I just kind of, as I generally complete them through regular gameplay, then I'll go ahead and collect the rewards. I will probably start going in here, seeing what I need to do in order to complete these out though, uh, because there's some pretty decent rewards. You need 1 million jelly. Obtain 1 million jelly experience worth of, of experience jelly. What? Obtain 1 million experience worth of experience jelly. I have zero. Oh, it's because it's locked. It's because I need to do this one right here. I'm at one of 10 right now. Anyway, so um, I'll probably put some focus on that eventually, but um, it's just kind of nice to run through those and unlock them as I'm re doing regular gameplay. A lot of my focus, again, is trying to figure things out specifically for the free-to-play player on how we can get through and and just complete the end game content. Again, if you're free-to-play, it's gonna take a little bit longer than pay-to-play uh, just because obviously you're not purchasing stuff. There's some good packs that will help you that will help get you a little bit further along. Uh, but that's where I am. Uh, this is now a pay to play account. I do have a second account that is going to remain 100% free to play. Uh, you can see that in my last stream and I'll continue to stream that um, weekly. We're gonna do weekly streams. I'll do a little bit of my free to play and then I'll move on over to my main account here and run through that stuff as well. Very interested in your thoughts. What do you think about this game? The game's been out for almost a week. Or, uh, by the, yeah, by the time you see this, it'll be almost a week. What do you think about this game? What do you think are some good things to know about this game? Tips, tricks, strategies. It's always good to see that. How far are you as a free-to-play player? How far are you as a pay-to-play player? Have you maxed out the player level here? I'm only 56. I think at what maxes out at 80, I think. Uh, someone could probably correct me on that. But um, having a blast, loving the game, been playing it now for, as you can see, 62 days. And I'm going to continue to play the game and make content on this game because... I do love the theory crafting. I love the different characters that are in here. The abilities are interesting and I love the dungeons, the farming aspect. There's just a lot that I like about this game. So that is what I had for you. I am rambling on, so let's go ahead and end this. Thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.